with Vacuum Cleaner Market and this is the Simplicity S20 Pet Bagless Upright Vacuum Cleaner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you what comes standard with this model, the ideal flooring for this model, and then I'm gonna show you um, the maintenance required with this machine and there's very little, I promise. So this model is a bagless upright, so you don't have to worry about changing any bags. Um, and there are two filters with this machine that I will also um, show you how to um, change and replace as well. And it comes with a HEPA media filter pre-installed. This machine has a couple of different attachments that it comes standard with. You have a dual function crevice tool with a upholstery tool slash dust brush. So how this is a dual function is you can slide it up, you can use the, the bristles to protect any of the surfaces that are delicate, or you can retract that and you can simply use it just as a crevice tool. That's a really nice feature about this tool. Love dual function things. And then this is a pet upholstery tool. That's what it's named as. But if you have carpeted stairs, this is a great upholstery tool to have. Um, great tool to have. Um, upholstered surfaces, carpeted stairs, the cars. This thing is awesome. Those spinning brush rolls on in this tool, great feature to have. They get really good agitation. Get all that debris off of your upholstered or carpeted surfaces. So these tool, two tools come standard with this machine and they're actually stored on the back of your machine, which I'm going to show you right now. So if you're looking at the back of the machine, you are going to attach your dual function crevice tool, upholstery and dusting brush tool in this attachment spot. And then your upholstery tool, your pet um, attachment is going to store on this left side. So this is great because if you've ever been cleaning and you lose your attachments, it's a really nice thing to have them on board so you don't have to worry about that anymore. So while we're looking at the back of your machine, there's two levers on it. Um, this one with the plus sign, that's gonna be your power button. That's gonna turn your machine on or off. And then the other button is going to release um, your vacuum from the upright locked position so you can actually be vacuuming, which is really nice. And then there's also another feature of this machine that I'll show you right now since we're looking at the back of the machine. So you have this very long reach flexible hose and then you also have the ability to attach it to your handle. So if you really wanted to get a deep clean or if you're cleaning the cars and you don't need the upright portion, you just need something like this, your attachments attach at the end of your wand as well. So that's a really nice feature to have. So your combination crevice tool and upholstery dusting brush will also fit on the end of your wand as well. So to just reassemble this, just take it off, slide the handle back in there, and then we just kind of loop this around and then put that in there. It's very easy and this hose extends quite far, about 12 feet, which is really nice. And then so I'm going to flip this vacuum back around. This is your metal brush roll that I talked about. It has a five height setting and the setting is right there. You can choose between an auto height setting, low, all the way up to extra like thick pile carpeting, which is nice. So to take your um, dustbin off, like if you're going to empty your dustbin, there is a button on the top portion and you're just gonna pull out simply like I did. And then there are two filters that are associated with this machine. There's one in the base of this canister and that one looks just like this. And then how you take it off, it's just a little turn. Get back in there. And then you also have another filter up here. And so this filter sits at the top of your canister. And then if you want to clean your entire dustbin, which is recommended you do after every time you vacuum, you can really clean this entire machine very thoroughly. So this is great. So mem just remember when you are cleaning anything, you're dealing with water and electricity, make sure everything's unplugged. And then always make sure that everything that you have washed, you're allowing to dry for at least 48 hours so it's completely dry. Nothing kills a vacuum faster than moisture. So to put 
your filter back in there. And then to empty your dustbin, you would press this button and that would be what you would put it over the trash can, obviously, and then all of your debris would come out like that. So get that back in there, just like this. So this is the S20 um, Pet by Simplicity, and this is, a, again, a corded but bagless upright vacuum cleaner. Those um, filters in there, uh, make sure that you are washing them regularly and then replacing them every nine to 12 months. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market. Happy vacuuming.